Hi Virgo, welcome to your general forecast for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to look at the energies around you at this time, whether it be uh, about love, general, whatever comes out here, we're just going to take the energies as they come. So please only take the energies that resonate for you. If it does not fit for you, then it's not probably for you. So please don't try to make it fit. So only take what resonates and throw away the rest. So please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, future. It could be something going on with someone around you um, that's affecting you also. So please keep that in mind. So Virgo, welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season and a happy new year. So let's see what's going on with you, Virgo, at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your links to your playlists are down below in the description box, love in general. Also the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section also. So Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. So let's see what we have for Virgo. So we have Gemini. You could have a Gemini around you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, friend, family, lover, anybody. Or you could have Gemini in your chart. Know somebody that has heavy Gemini in your chart. Again, if that doesn't resonate, totally fine. So what we're going to do here now is let's get an opening messages for you. One opening message for you. Then we will pull one for your energy. And then we will clarify that energy with the tarot and then look at the actual situation, advice for your situation, possible outcome of your situation. And then we'll get some closing messages with this deck over here. So let's see what's going on with Virgo. At this time, Spirit, please, thank you so much. What is the opening message for Virgo? Wow, well, okay. The waiting game. This has been coming out a lot in the readings. You're my last general forecast reading for February. So we have the waiting game here, which is the Two of Wands energy. So the Two of Wands is usually about making, it's fire energy, so it's usually about making plans, decisions moving forward. But there may be waiting involved uh maybe whatever plans decisions you're wanting to make you have to wait for some reason all right so let's see uh what your energy is that's your or your opening message is if you know you're planning on making some sort of plans decisions moving forward maybe it's advisable right now just to wait a little bit longer for some reason if that makes sense for you all right so let's see what your energy is like at this time what is your energy at this time oh we have emotional withdrawal we have the eight of cups energy so this is walking away from something no longer fulfilling for you but you can always return or you can walk to something more fulfilling for you this is water energy with the cups maybe you're wanting to walk away from a decision and go in a new direction but maybe now isn't the best time so you may need to just wait a little bit longer before you can move on. Something is no longer emotionally fulfilling for you. It's like you want to turn your back on the situation. But for some reason, because you're turning your back here, turning your back here, but you may just have to wait a little bit longer. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Trapped in fear. Wow, so we got two eights here. So this is the eight of swords energy. So this is about mental entrapment. Uh, being trapped in your own head can't get out of your own thoughts wow so you i think you have this going around and around in your head like i just want to leave i just want to withdraw from this situation it's no longer fulfilling for me but i'm trapped in my own head um i want to do it now but i know i need to wait like all these thoughts like going round and round and round in your head i'm feeling if that makes sense for you like, when will the right time be? When is the right time? What will be the right time? Maybe you have fear about leaving the situation for some reason. Reason, You know, you're feeling trapped. And maybe you just fear leaving it for some reason. But yet you feel trapped. Oh boy, what's going on with you, Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Let's clarify this energy. I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Not that's way too many. 
Um, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift. However you support me in the channel, I truly, truly do appreciate it. Could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, why? Wow, that just went flying on the floor. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's reverse, but if it is, it's probably meant to be. I don't usually do reversals unless they fly out reverse. So let's see what's going on here for you, Virgo. Queen of Cups. So this can involve a water sign. Uh, but, you know, this definitely could be something of the love situation here with the Queen of Cups, King or Queen, doesn't matter. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. If you have Virgo in any of those placements in your chart, I know I always forget to say that. Um, and the Emperor. So wanting to take the lead control and charge of a situation. I feel like you want to take control over your life. You want to take charge of your life. You know... Um, Oh, it's like Queen of Cups is all about emotions, feelings, love. But with this Eight of Cups here and the Eight of Swords, I feel like, you know, maybe there once was love in this situation, but now you're realizing, you know, it's just not fulfilling anymore. It's like you want to take control of the situation. You just want to say, you know, just come out and say, look, um, this isn't working anymore. But it's like you just wait and wait and wait. Maybe you, ha you fear facing this person. They're not a Gemini. They could be a water sign. All right, let's see what else is going on here. The Page of Cups. Energy. There could be a child involved here. Maybe you have a child with this person. Um, or this could be um, apologies. Maybe this person still has you no know, love and emotions for you, but maybe you just don't feel the same anymore. All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the moon in reverse. So you can't keep this hidden anymore. You know, the moon sometimes talks about keeping things hidden or secrets, things coming to light, not seeing the path clearly. But I feel like you know what your path is now. You know you need to leave the situation, but you just, for some reason, you fear doing it or you're scared to do it or you keep waiting and waiting. But you just feel the withdrawal already. You feel it already. Ten of Cups, wow. So, I mean, all right. And the Six of Cups. Hmm. So this was once a happy home and family situation. This could be someone you've been with for a very, very, very long time. I mean, you could be married to this person or just a long-term commitment. But for some reason here... Uh, I don't know, just fe feeling very withdrawn and trapped in fear and trapped in your head. What's going on here? So here's the star here for healing, divine energy. I mean, maybe this is a situation that can be healed. I don't know. This is divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So let's see what's going on here. Nine of Cups. So the nines can talk about a independent energy. But we got two cards here, wish fulfillment. I think somebody's wish fulfillment here is to be independent and single away from the situation because you're downgrading from the 10 to the 9, 10 to the 6, but then back to the 9 of being independent. All right, so it's like back and forth energy all over the place here. And plus the 8, so you got 6, we don't have the 7, but we got 6, 8, 9 chariot so <laughs> wow what's going on here for you virgo let's get a couple more six of swords energy get one more and the empress so we have the emperor and the empress here so this is a divine couple so why the withdrawal and why trapped in fear if this is your divine counterpart. It's either that, it's either you're trapped in a situation now that you want to break free of and you're waiting to move to your true soulmate, divine partner. Because we do have the emperor and the empress over here, which is a matching couple, divine counterparts. And the six of swords is moving to the empress energy. So is it the chariot. 
I think somebody's wish fulfillment here is to get in their chariot, take off, sail off, and move to their empress or emperor, their divine counterpart that they know is their true soulmate. So you've got the ten and the six here connecting the emperor and the empress. But you have this queen of cups over here who is being separated from the emperor by this eight of cups energy and the moon in reverse. This queen is only a page and a queen, but over here we have divine counterparts. So I feel like somebody could be in a situation with, could be a soulmate, but it's maybe ran its course because we're going from the queen to the page. Somebody knows with the moon energy, they can't keep it a secret anymore that, you know, this has run its course. The withdrawal's been there. You no know, feeling trapped and bound to the situation. Just waiting and waiting. Nobody's really taking action. Somebody needs to take action with the emperor and the empress energy. Especially in the chariot, the six of swords. I feel like somebody here, this is turning out to be a little bit of a love reading, but I feel like somebody here... It's trapped in a situation they don't want to be in anymore. They really can't keep it to themselves anymore, but yet nobody's taking action. Everyone, you know, just waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, the Page of Cups can be apologies. Somebody definitely wants their wish fulfillment to move towards their Emperor, Empress, Divine Counterpart, Soulmate, possible Twin Flame energy here. But somebody needs to get out of something that they're trapped in. Oh boy. Virgo. All right, let's get some advice for this situation, Virgo. Advice for this situation. Whether this is you or somebody you're waiting on, you could be waiting on somebody to leave a situation and come to you. Whether you are the emperor or the empress. Strength. Somebody is not strong enough. In reverse, somebody is not strong enough yet to do what they need to do. This is advice for the situation. Somebody needs to find all their inner strength and courage in this situation. And somebody is not. That's why they're trapped in fear. They're still waiting. They're still trapped here with the Eight of Cups. And the Tower in reverse, avoiding this. Someone's avoiding this. Avoiding <laughs> this Tower moment. They don't want to face it. So, five of wands, because they don't want conflict. Someone's avoiding a tower moment. They're not strong enough yet to face this, because they know there will be conflict. Or there is conflict, and they can't deal with more conflict. You know, maybe petty art, pettiness right now, but to deal with... Um, deal with a major tower moment they just don't have the strength right now and here's the queen of wands king or queen of wands very fiery passionate go-getter energy somebody needs to get in their king or queen of wands energy the emperor is aries which is fire somebody just needs to go after what they want they need to find their strength and face this tower moment no matter what the conflict is they need to be strong courageous and brave whether it's you or your person until they can get their strength to face this tower moment, they're going to stay stuck. And you'll be waiting forever for this person. Even though the, this is divine soulmate counterpart energy here. But yet they're in the energy of they just can't like hold back anymore. Like they just can't hold it in anymore, but yet not doing anything about it. Oh boy. So let's see what the possible outcome will be in this situation for you, Virgo. For you, Virgo. Whether this is you or your person that you're waiting on, uh, or you could be. Yeah, so now we have temperance here. So someone needs to, you know, maybe somebody will finally find their balance. This temperance angel usually brings the soulmates together. This is patience, balance, energy, tempering energy. So maybe somebody will finally balance out their energies and get in their queen, king or queen of wands energy and face this tower moment. Seven of swords. Yeah, they just can't, they can't be in this anymore. They got to get away from this. They just can't do it anymore. And they're finally going to probably realize that. 
king of pentacles. So being stable, grounded, and secure, king or queen, doesn't matter. Knowing their value and their worth. Knowing their worth more than what they're stuck in. I think finally they'll they'll their energies will balance out. It may take a while here because the king of pentacles is very slow. So if you want to wait for this person, <laughs> it may not be till next fall and maybe waiting a long time. So whether or not you want to wait for this person or this is you, however it resonates for you. But King of Pentacles is a very stable, secure energy. They're grounded, but they make very practical, smart, analytical steps. They're very cautious. They don't want to make a mistake. Maybe an overthinker here. But somebody will finally think about it long, hard enough, realize, okay, I got to get out of this. It's, it's just time. And they will balance their energies out and face this tower, get that strength and that fiery, passionate energy under their butt to move forward. But it's going to take a minute, several minutes. So long process here if you want to wait for this person. We have a lot of energy here. I mean, we got cups, we got wands, we got pentacles. So there's a lot, of, it could be a lot of people involved in here in some way, shape or form. Um, or just our children involved also. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the nine of pentacles. So yeah, so somebody will finally become single and independent and break free from something here. They finally will do it. But it's going to take a while. The pentacle energy is very slow. The hermit, yeah, <laughs> it's going to take a minute. They're going to do some deep soul searching here. And they know there may be a time here being very, very indecisive about this toxic energy they're stuck in, and it could be a marriage or a long-term commitment. But they know there's something more stable and grounded for them for the long-term, another opportunity here, or well, long-term abundance and growth. So finally realizing that, walking away from their situation so they can take fiery, passionate action to the one they want to be with. So it's going to take a while, but I do see it happening. So it's whether or not you want to wait the waiting game. You want to wait for this person because you just see going in circles, like pacing in circles, waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And it may, may have been seasons. You may be waiting. You could have been, been waiting for this person for a year already. You may be waiting another year because we do have two there. So it's depending how you long you want to wait. But we do have um, Leo Sag Aries here. Oops. We have Taurus with the Hierophant. I mean, this could learn, also lead to long-term commitment for you. But right now, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. And then we over here, we have the Emperor energy, which is um, Aries. That's your, um, no, not your energy. I just said Aries. <laughs> um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces. Empress energy here is Libra, Taurus. Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, Aries again. Uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. So a lot of different energies here. It's how long you're willing to wait for them to get up the courage and strength here and balance themselves out to take the action they need to take to get them stuck, themselves unstuck, unbound, and trapped, and actually totally walk away from the situation. How long you want to wait for them. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get some closing messages here for you, Virgo. I do ask Virgo if you're new, if you like my energy, my style, how I read, please check out my channel. You like what you see. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's get a closing message for you, Virgo. Strength. Wow. So now it's upright. I can't make this up. I had said that. They will finally balance out their energies and get their strength to face this tower, to face the conflict, the deeper conflict of the tower, rather than this petty conflict. So we have strength here, 11. Messiah, lion, and lamb. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So yeah, they're going to, and we could be talking about twin flame energy with 11 here, half the twin flame number. So 
This could possibly soulmate twin flame, divine counterparts, emperor and empress. Somebody finally now getting the courage. It's in the upright now. So now having their strength to do what they need to do and move towards their divine counterpart, whether it's you, them, however this resonates for you. Let's get some more messages for you, Virgo. The Emperor. Wow. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Dare Mouse. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. This person is finally going to take control of the situation. Finally. With the Emperor twice and the Strength twice, finally, they're finally going to do it. Finally. Finally, finally. They're tired of this little meddlesome mouse here just nagging at them all the time and being a nuisance. And it could be this Queen of Cups energy here. <laughs> all right, so let's get uh, one more message for you, Virgo. Wow, the Ten of Summer. Prairie dog, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family or close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage, as well as raising happy, balanced children. So this is Ten of Cups. Total fulfillment, joy, happiness in every single way with your person. Soulmates coming together, having fulfillment in every single way. So once this emperor takes control, emperor, empress doesn't matter, gets that strength, turns that strength to the upright and does what they need to do. These true soulmates, divine counterparts are finally going to come together in that ten of summer energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The hermit. Again, didn't we have the hermit... Yeah, the hermit some yeah right there so a hermit again so firefly take time for contemplation to retreat and go within be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment so this person's really going to dig down deep hard think about it go into retreat mode they're already turned their back on this situation anyway it's no longer fulfilling anyway they're just feeling trapped in the situation so finally realizing doing that deep down journey soul work and knowing Okay, I have to muster up my strength and power to do what I need to do so I can be with my divine true soulmate. Wow, Virgo. Okay, and that is your energy, Virgo, with the hermit. So, however it resonates for you, whether it's you or them or however this uh, situation involves you. So, best of luck to you, Virgo. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.